Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes you have an object in your scene that you want to break apart with a dynamic simulation, just like this font for example. So far so easy, but what if you want to control exactly where it breaks and when? Let me show you. The font is already fractured and has a rigid body tag on it. When we hit play, everything falls down immediately. That's not what we want. In the rigid body tag, change the trigger parameter from immediately to on collision. Now it needs an object to collide with in order to start the dynamic simulation. I already prepared a cube with some simple animation for that purpose. In order to be detected by the simulation, we need to make the cube a collider object. To do so, right click on the cube in the object manager and choose simulation tags, collider body. If we hit play now, you see that dynamics are triggered only in those areas where fragments were hit by the cube, but they still collide with it. In order to get rid of those collisions, we need to adjust one more parameter in the cube's collider body tag. Just change dynamic from off to ghost and hit play. Now you see that the type doesn't react to the collision with the cube as we would expect. What it does is it uses the cube as kind of a trigger simulation area. Once a fragment is in this area, it will be part of the simulation and therefore fall down. Thanks for watching. For more information on Cinema 4D or other Maxon products, please visit cineversity.com or maxon.net.